4.41 a.m. Today is 
um, January 10th, 2017. And in back to the last message, 13MH252, down in the records department, you'll find that this um, medical record states that I was only to be held at CMHIP until my daughter was taken from me, and then I was to be released, in, in quote. That is exactly what it says. And um, if you can please obtain that, then you will see that you are acting in a conflict of interest. And if you also see that the person who did this court order, which is on YouTube this morning, and it's also in record in case um, 13MH318, that Judge William Alexander had court ordered me debt. This has happened in other cases before, and the feds have actually prosecuted judges for doing this very thing. The feds are investigating this. This has all been forwarded to them. That is no delusion. And if you can see, if you can call DU or somebody at the Supreme Court, you'll see that this is a conflict of interest, what I've told you, why it's a malicious prosecution. Judge William Alexander cannot hear this criminal case, 15 CR 1287, by the color of law and constitution. So all of the things that I have reported to you are all factual and documented. If you can just take the time to go down and get the record at 13MH252 in your building to show that I was only held on a mental hold to take my daughter from me. This is also noted on legal documents, the medical documents at your office, which means that you guys were aiding and abetting child kidnapping and kidnapping of me. So the interest of CMHIP is to try to deem me crazy to try to cover up the kidnapping. So that's why it's very important that you contact my power of attorney. Maximum length recorded. To re-record, press 2.